Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we will work on exercise 4. The expanded image of exercise 4 is here and you can take a screenshot if you want. And I will just minimize this a little bit and let's start working. We'll select a standard part template and let's go to sketch and start doing the initial sketch. So I think I will start creating the base over here and then start creating the top these these uh, portions. So I'll start sketching on the top plane. So if you're a beginner I recommend you to do the same and then once you're quite okay with everything you can just try some methods by your own. I've double clicked on the smart dimension 60, 20, 30. 30. It's fully constrained as it's uh, turned to black. Now you can exit the sketch and what you can do next would be to do a pad, an extrusion that's of uh, 10 mm. Go to features, extruded boss and base and you can give uh, 10 mm and that would give you the extrude output and now you can do another sketch over here so I'll simply click here and I'll get an option to do the next sketch and I would simply create four lines here and do the dimension for this that's 20 mm exit the sketch and you can give the extrude of this length here so again go to extrude and then go for oh it's 10 mm can Select that sketch and go for extrude. And go for 10 mm. Sketch cannot be used strongly shared by multiple entities. If you have, if you're ever getting such kind of error in the sketch, then you definitely need to go back to the sketch and see if there is anything happening wrong in the sketch. So you can uh, go for a normalized view. So here try zooming in a different location and you'll be able to find some some issues with the sketch here so you can delete such geometries and again come out come out of the sketch and again zoom out a little bit select that sketch here and go for extrude and this time it's going to work now give 10 mm, click on OK, and that has created. Now again, 
let's look at the first extrude that we've done you can always go back to the previous features and always you can uh, edit any any of the length or anything if you would like to now you can give another sketch over here go over here click on the sketch so in this case i will just show you a new method that is to convert the existing entities so you can go over here convert entities once you click on that that will be converted to a sketch now you can use a line and just simply draw a line across here and go for trim entities and just trim this off and then then just dimension this portion to 30 mm and just exit the sketch and then go for extruded boss and base and you can give 20 mm and click on OK and now finally you need to create this particular portion you can again go over here and click on the sketch and here you can just use a rectangle and then dimension this portion by giving 20 mm and that's it exit the sketch and then go for extrude boson base and give 20 mm click on ok and that would create our final model so that's it about the exercise 4 and I think newly we have uh, used the convert entities feature in this video and uh, I hope uh, to show more and more exercises in the same way and so that you will be able to uh, learn and at the same time implement to do something some model uh, while you're on the learning process so i hope you enjoyed if you have any doubt or comments you can write to me uh, i can uh, comment below the video and also you can write to me at ktia.pro.user at gmail.com thank you and stay tuned